Hey everyone, uh, this is a squarely circle with another squarely circle plays. I'm going to be playing some Counter Strike Global Offensive. I keep calling it Counter Strike Source because old habits die hard. But uh, I wanted to start off by talking about how I know that uh, GN2 is the 50th percentile. And so here's this website, csgosquad.com slash ranks. I don't know how they get their information. They probably explain it. But uh, if you add up the percentages, GN2 adds up to almost exactly 50%, kind of closer to 51% maybe. And uh, that makes GN3 60%, and GN4 is 69 point something percent. So it's about 70%. So it's GN2 is 50, GN3 is 60, GN4 is 70. Uh, above that, we go up by 7%, 6%, 5.5%. So you can see it gets smaller and smaller changes between higher ranks. But going from GN2 to GN3, and then GN3 to GN4, I think this is some of the hardest. Uh, the hardest uh, ranks to go up unless you're actually better than all these players but if you're about where they are and you're just trying to fight your way up it's gonna be really hard which I I think that I'm actually in about the 50th percentile I have some skills that I do better than other people and some skills that I uh, do worse such as aiming which in a game like CSGO you really gotta be good at aiming and I am terrible it's one of the reasons why I keep buying the P90 besides the P90 being good against ops and against uh, 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 AKs and uh, M4s which are the most common weapons besides that it also you wanna be close to the person and just light them up you don't necessarily need to aim perfectly you just have to uh, be close which is really easy to aim at somebody who's close so uh, I go for the P90 I call it the pub scrubber most people are very bad at dealing with a P90 and that's why I almost always buy a P90. It's also very cheap so uh, if we win a few rounds I can buy for my teammates or I can just save uh, for when we start losing a few rounds and uh, so you'll see me buying a lot of P90s and that's why it's good against ops, it's good against AKs, it's good against M4s, the most common weapons and since I'm so bad at aiming it makes up for the fact that uh, I can't hit anything. Now, if we're really winning, if it's like 13-3, I'll buy an M4, I'll buy an AK, so that way uh, I get the practice, basically, uh, and uh, I get to uh, try and kill people with a real weapon instead of the pub scrubber, which I think is a little bit cheap. 